so let's talk about making money with pigs for meat. Um, so this is the way that most people will make money or decent profit with their pigs. Um, so we breed on farm. You can also buy your piglets and raise them. Um, there's nothing wrong with that way either. Um, just remember to factor that cost in when you're doing your math and figuring out what it's going to cost you. I highly recommend before starting any new venture on your farmstead, homestead, in your yard, um, to sit down and write out a business plan. Um, we're going to do a video series on that as well. Um, even if you don't ever foresee yourself having to get go and get loans or do anything like that, it's going to help you exponentially. Um, it's invaluable to keep you on track, um, help you realize what you should or shouldn't be doing, um, whether you can or can't make money with something, um, or how many you need of something to hit a certain target. Like, I really recommend going that route. Anyway, so we're basing this off of 10 piglets um, per litter. So each we'd raise to about 250 pounds for our slaughter weight. That's typically the goal weight to take them in. Um, anything higher than that, you're kind of losing out on that um, feed conversion rate. So they're growing a little slower. Um, that's kind of prime target weight. So to get to that weight, you're looking at feeding about 840 pounds. So keep in mind, you could have spillage, you could have some go bad, you could free feed and you go through a lot more. Um, you could reduce that by fermenting. Um, a milk-based fermentation is a great way to feed your pigs. Um, so if you've, it's a good excuse to get a goat if you don't have one or a cow. <laughs> Um, so any excess milk that you have, ferment your grains in with it. Great. We feed our pigs on produce. They do amazing. Um, so if you've got a big garden, grow some extra for them. Anyways, that works out to about 361.20 if you average out feed rates. Not the high side, not the low side. Um, but then you also have to factor in if you aren't processing on farm, which there are USDA exemptions available to you. Some people will buy whole and have you dress them. Um, this is if you're taking it out. So I price this a little on the higher side. Shop around. You don't want to necessarily go to the cheapest butcher because you might not get the best products. Um, but it also doesn't always pay to go the most expensive. Um, get some genuine opinions and reviews from people that have used the, a processor before to see if it's a good fit for you. Sometimes are re restricted by your area. Um, typically you're looking at a hundred dollar slaughter fee. Some places it's going to be more depending on how big your pig is. Um, some will charge an extra fee if it's say if it's over 300 pounds. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Um, average is for the cutting weight, which is based off your hanging, hanging weight is about a dollar 45 a pound for cut and wrap. So some things are going to be less, some things are going to be more like it's, I just kind of didn't average there. Um, some areas are going to cost less. Some areas are going to cost more like it. This is just your average. So to figure out what your overall cost is, I base this off a 250 pound pig going in. So that gives us a hanging weight of about 175 pounds. So butchers typically go off your hanging weight, not your slaughter weight. Um, so that works out to about 353.75 for processing. So total cost per pig for processing um, and feed, you're looking at about $714.95. So if you're selling the whole pig, um, averaged out at $650 a pound hanging weight, which is kind of the national average right now, and that's for a whole pig. So that's the cheapest that your consumers are going to get it is $650 a pound. So, and that's based off a national average. So a lot of areas are going to be cheaper, especially in the Midwest. Um, you get into other areas, it gets a lot more expensive. So depending on, because of peak costs. Um, so kind of look at what you can get in your area. It depends on your, your stock. Berkshires bring in good money. So people really like their meat. 
um, Megalitsas, which I'm saying wrong, um, have kind of gone up in popularity as well. So if you're selling the whole pig for six fifty a pound on the hanging weight, um, it works out to a Eleven thirty-seven fifty. So that only leaves you about a four twenty-two fifty-five profit. But there's a few different ways to do that. A lot of people will sell it a little bit cheaper and pass the cost of processing on to the customers if they're buying whole halves or quarters, um, which is fine. Personally, I prefer to have everything worked in for customers. I find it's an easier sell because a lot of people don't understand how the math works when it comes to processing. Um, so it just, it really depends what works for you, what's popular in your area. Um, now, if you go and if you do markets or things like that, um, or even have a good customer base already, selling by the cut drastically increases your profit margins exponentially. However, you have to have room to store the meat, so extra freezer space, and it takes a bit more time typically. Um, but if you're already running a veggie CSA or anything like that, this is a great way to add some proteins into that, um, and you already have a customer base. So there's a few different options. Um, and that's that was per pig. So that's $422.55 per pig. So based on the 10 piglets, if you raise them all up, you're looking at a little over $4,200. But factor in, um, like we like to give a vitamin or a, an iron shot. Um, it's not expensive to buy. Um, we castrate ourselves for our barrows, so that's not an added fee. The more you can do for yourself, the more money you're gonna save, as opposed to paying a vet to come and do it. Or like, I don't really know any hog farmers that pay a vet to come and castrate their boars for them um but it is important to do um i don't know if you've ever butchered a boar but that boar tamed it, it smells atrocious especially if they're an older pig um but yeah something to look into they're a really fun animal to have around um they are great for clearing a pasture if needed or tilling things up for you a little bit um, they aren't overly destructive if you actually rotate them often enough. It really depends on you and how much time you want to commit. Um, but they're definitely worth having. Great way to add some extra income. Um, and you can potentially be bringing in on a bottom side about $8,000 a year from a single sow and boar breeding pair if you're selling their piglets for meat. Um, but again, that depends on what your market in your area can bear. Um, pork is quite popular. It is a fairly easy sell, um, especially in the summer. A lot of, you can do sausage boxes. You can do so many different things. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Sorry that we had to move inside. It is a cold day outside and my phone lasts about five minutes before it freezes and turns off. So thank you for your time. Thanks for listening to me and letting me talk pigs. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm happy to help. Thanks, bye.